get started and I'm thinking of a head to toe with some gentle dynamic movements to work out all the cricks and cracks and to move the cobwebs, build some elasticity. But let's settle into the space, getting our feet under our hips, our shoulders on top. And we'll take a few deep breaths in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Filling our lungs with air. Noticing the softening of the muscles in our faces and our shoulders. And releasing any stagnant air, energy or emotion that we can put aside during our practice. Bringing our awareness back to the breath, the steady inhale and exhale through the nose. Noticing the energy and the mood of the body. And running through a quick head to toe, just to get a sense of where we might be holding tension and what parts of the body feel light. Setting an intention for our practice today. Perhaps it could be as simple as working to maintain our presence in the moment. Or to be more aware of our physical sensations. Bringing our awareness back to the space around us, the sounds, the temperature, and smells. We'll start with some shoulder shrugs up and down. Eyes open or closed. And we'll roll the shoulders up and back and around, up, back, around. Drawing the shoulder blades back towards the spine and then forward into the neck. Listening and feeling those crips and cracks. One more. And then we'll change directions. Drawing the shoulder blades back, up and around. Good. Settling the shoulders back and we'll lower our chin to chest and we'll slowly roll our head left to right. Gaining range of motion each time Perhaps we go in a full circle or perhaps we contain a range of motion to a semicircle. Whatever feels good on our neck. Noticing the physical sensations throughout the neck, the shoulders, and the upper back. And 
One more. And then we'll bring our chin back to our chest. And we'll press or lift our heads up. Bringing our arms into full circles, palms facing forward. We'll draw the arms all the way back and all the way forward. Rotating the palms forward. Exhaling as we lower the arms. Inhale, drawing the arms back. Exhale, bring them forward. Whatever speed feels good. Slowly starting to move the sensations in our upper back down through the mid back. Feeling our arms. One more. Good. Palms facing back and we'll draw the arms up and around to the front. Breathing air into the entire torso, lifting it tall, feeling the length of the spine, reaching our arms tall. Two more. Great. And we're going to move our arms in opposite directions, trying to create a bit of a change of pattern, one arm comes back, one arm goes forward. It took me a couple tries to get there. <laughs> and we'll switch, opposite arm goes forward, opposite arm goes back, I know you wanna swim. I know, I feel it. <laughs> really concentrating on moving our arms in a different way. And now go ahead and swim the arms forward, <laughs> noticing the abdomen and the side body start to engage. Maybe a micro bend in the knees. And then we'll swim backwards. Rotating the trunk as feels comfortable. Or perhaps we just focus on the arms. Good. Coming back to center. Bringing our hands up parallel to the floor. Hands to our shoulders. Bending the knees slightly. I will twist left to right. Our arm where our eyes can follow the elbow, open or closed. Noticing the abdomen engage, grounding of our feet as they grip into the mat. Two more. And we come back to center, releasing the arms, giving them a little shake, and then we'll add our legs, shaking, shaking, shaking the wrists, shaking the feet, forward and back, side to side. And we can lift the arms up a little bit higher, flopping and shaking, bouncing if that feels good, letting the body guide us in what it needs where the energy needs to be moved. Three more seconds. Good, we come back to stillness. Getting our feet back under our hips, taking another moment to check in with the energy of the body. And to appreciate the vibrations that we feel. Slight micro bend in the knees, and we're going to bring our arms parallel to the floor again, opening the arms as big as we can, lifting the chest high, inhaling, exhale. 
exhale, we're gonna hug ourselves, bringing our arms forward, wrapping them around. Inhale, we open the chest, lifting our gaze. Exhale, we round forward, curling into our spine. And we'll repeat this with our breath. Noticing the pause at the top and the bottom. Perhaps using those brief moments to reflect on our intention and to absorb compassion, kindness, and love for ourselves so that we have it to give to others. Three more. One more. And we come back to neutral. Deep breaths in through the nose and sighing it out through the mouth. We'll float through some squats. Opening our legs a little bit wider so that we can sink into the hips. Through Malasana squat, forward fold, and rolling up like ragdoll. So starting, inhaling, reaching our arms up, palms together. Exhale, we sink through Malasana squat. We inhale, forward folding. Exhale, we round up gently, stacking the vertebrae. And we repeat with our breath. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Sinking into the hips, exhaling. Perhaps we keep a micro bend on the knees as we slowly start to warm up the back body. Appreciating the sensations that we're creating in our body, that we're noticing not trying to change them or our breath. Just being aware, being present with all the yummy transformations. Two more. And we'll remain in our forward fold, hanging our heads heavy, and option to lift our hands to the inside of our elbows and sway left to right. Perhaps we bend our knee and shift our weight, whatever feels good here, or stillness if that's preferable. Checking in with the lower back, the back of the legs into the hamstrings, the knees and the calf muscles. Three, two, and one. Coming back to stillness. Our neutral position will roll up gently, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, rolling up like ragdolls, stacking the shoulders 
over our hips, reaching up, inhaling, palms together, opening the abdomen, looking up, and we'll tuck our hips back underneath our shoulders, we'll grab onto our left wrist, reaching our arms tall, and we'll come into a side bend over to the right. Keeping our left hip anchored, we're not letting it float up, and we're not compressing into the right side of the body. Perhaps we lift our right heel to add a little bit of depth to our left side body stretch. Finding grounding through the left side. We plant our right heel, and with each exhalation, we're slowly going to hinge forward, coming back into our forward fold. Big deep breaths in, filling the abdomen and the lungs, and then rotating gently, coming back to center, letting the head hang heavy, letting the arms hang heavy. Deep breaths in. And on the next exhale, we roll ourselves back up, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders, and head. Inhale, we reach our arms all the way back up, arching the lower back, lifting our gaze, lifting our chest, opening the abdomen. Bringing our hips back underneath our shoulders, grabbing onto the right wrist, big reach. Deep breath in, exhale into our side body. Coming over to the left, finding grounding through the right. Not compressing, but we're opening. And if we want to lift our left heel, and put a little bit of extra weight into the right side. We can. Digging a little deeper through the right leg and heel. Good. Planting both feet, deep breaths in. And with each exhale, we roll forward. Noticing the yummy sensations in our lower back, perhaps down the legs. Making our way slowly into our forward fold, letting our heads and our arms hang heavy. Inhaling, exhale, we roll all the way back up, micro bend in the knees, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders, and head. One more time, inhaling, big, reaching our arms all the way up over our head. We lift up, we gaze up. And we bring our hands to heart center, hips underneath. Deep breaths in. And we sigh it out. <sighs> Opening our legs, double hip width. And we'll do some sun and moon flowers. Inhale, reaching, straightening all the way up. Exhale, we hinge into the hips and we scoop our arms forward. Inhale up, reaching for the sky and gathering the earth. Keeping our knees stacked over our ankles, floating with our breath. Trying not to bend into our back, maintaining a nice tall torso as we warm into the hips. No destination here, no expectation that we must tap the floor. Three more. Up. 
option. Inhaling one arm and side bend. Exhale, we sink through. Alternating sides. Again, going with the flow of our breath. Gentle, dynamic motions to move the energy, to move the cobwebs, to build elasticity. One more on each side. And we come into our goddess squat. Opening our arms wide, bringing them parallel to the floor. Palms are facing up. Knees are stacked over our ankles. Tucking our hips under. We're feeling the glutes engaged. The thighs are engaged. Tall torso. Calm, steady rhythm of breath. For two more. Inhale, straightening the legs, reaching our arms up. Toes point forward and we hinge forward, forward fold, wide angle. Maybe we widen the feet a bit more for stability and to bring our hands to the earth for support. We'll bring our left hand under our beautiful faces and we'll open up the right arm, inhaling. Exhale, we'll lower the right arm, replacing it where the left is. Inhaling, left arm up. Exhale, left arm down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, down. Alternating sides. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, we lower. Noticing the energy in the inner thighs. As we press our hand into the earth. Gentle rotation of the spine as we reach up. One more on each side. At this speed. Next, reach up, we'll hold. Pressing our hand into the earth, feeling the inner thigh muscle, breathing into any areas of discomfort, and noticing how those areas transform. Two more breaths. And we'll lower our top hand, replacing it where the bottom was at. Inhale, reaching the opposite arm all the way up. Creating space in our inner thigh. Perhaps visualizing sunlight warming and melting any areas of tension. And we'll release, bringing our left arm or our upper arm down, bringing both hands to the earth, allowing our heads to hang heavy. Inhale, torso comes parallel to the floor, lengthening through the lower back, and we'll shift our weight side to side. Inhale, the center, exhale to one side. Inhale, the center, exhale to the side. Shifting our weight, Maybe adding some lateral flexion in there, noticing what's happening in the inner thighs, the hamstrings, and the lower back. Just gaining a little bit of fluidity here.
and then we'll come into Skandasana on whichever side we're on, either a high lunge here or we sink a little bit lower into the hip, lifting our extended toes off the earth, finding support as needed. And slowly we'll shift our weight all the way over to the other side, inhaling through center, walking the hands over, either staying high or sinking into the hip, lifting the toes up here, finding support with our arms. Tall torso, deep breaths in here. Great. Inhaling back through center, coming back into our wide angle forward fold. Toes come parallel like train tracks and we hang our heads heavy. So gently bringing our forehead over to one side, reaching our hands to wherever they feel and find connection with our leg comfortably. Slowly drawing our chest towards our thigh, noticing the energy running down the back of the leg. Maintaining our calm, steady rhythm of breath. Not forcing ourselves into any specific pose. We're here to release energy not create stress or tension. Two more big breaths here. And we'll slowly walk our hands over to the other side, making contact with our thigh, our shin, our ankle or foot, whichever feels most comfortable, drawing our chest towards our thigh, and letting our heads hang heavy. Again, we notice what's happening in the back of the leg and even across the lower back down the other side, noticing how patterns of energy are created and held in our bodies. Breathing space into those areas of discomfort that might exist. And again, we're not forcing ourselves into anything. And we release back to center. Inhale, lifting our torso tall, parallel to the floor. And we're gonna pivot into a lunge. So let's start in a crescent lunge here. We'll lower our knee to the earth, flattening our back foot, and we'll bring our hands onto our front thigh, adding some support to our knee if needed. And we'll slowly shift forward with the inhale, holding here. We'll add some dynamic motion momentarily, but let's allow our body to settle into the hip flexor in the front, finding stability, a block or the earth as needed, depending on how our hips and our hip flexors are allowing us to sink lower, lifting our chest tall. And then we'll flow back, exhaling, bringing our hips back towards our heel, lifting our front toes, extending the front leg. Again, we make contact with the earth, our block, or onto our thighs, keeping our hips forward facing for stability. Noticing what's happening in the back of the extended leg, toes are lifted high, chest is lifted through, and we have calm, steady rhythm of breath. Great. Inhaling, we're going to float forward, planting our foot, lifting our chest. Exhale, we'll float back. 
lifting our toes, extending our leg. Hands on the earth or on our thigh. And we'll just create a little bit of motion here. Continue moving the energy through. Two more. Coming back forward on the inhale. And we'll come into a lizard lunge. Option to walk the foot out a little bit. Option to move around. Checking in again with the hip flexor, the hips, the lower back. Perhaps we want to add a bit of depth with a gentle rotation of the spine. Or finding a pose that feels good and is releasing energy. Option to reach the upper arm back, to lift the leg, the foot, and to draw the heel into the glute. Tall torso, bringing our gaze back over the shoulder, melting onto the hip flexor, off of the knee, holding, moving, whatever feels good. We're moving energy around. Finding length in our torso, Breathing into any areas of discomfort. Good. Releasing out of that, coming back into our crescent lunge. Up on the toes of the back foot. Let's reach our arms all the way up. Inhaling, reaching high. Exhale, we're going to rotate over the front leg, the lunge leg. And we're going to lower our back hand, reaching up. We're in a reverse crescent lunge warrior. Breathing into the side body, the lower back. Gentle here. Beautiful. And we windmill the hands all the way back down to the earth. We come all the way through our forward fold and we pivot to the opposite side. Crescent lunge up on the toes and we lower the back knee and the foot. We bring our hands to the earth or our thigh. And we're going to sink forward to start lifting our chest. Hips are forward facing. Finding length from the tailbone through to the crown of the head as we slowly melt into the hip flexor, into the hip, and start to release energy. Calm, steady rhythm of breath. Presence on the physical sensations. And we'll push ourselves all the way back, sinking our hips towards the heel, lifting the toes off the earth, extending our front leg long. Again, we press the earth away, finding support with our hands on the earth or our hips. Finding length again in the torso. Chest is lifted through. We have a calm, steady rhythm of breath, using it as our guide. Keeping our toes lifted high, feeling all that energy moving through the back of the leg. And then we'll start to move with some dynamic motions forward and back, inhaling forward. 
exhaling back. Lifting the toes, inhaling forward at our speed. Noticing how everything is connected. We'll do two more. Moving with purpose, appreciating the pauses. And we'll come back forward into our lizard lunge, bringing our hand to the earth, walking our foot to the outer edge of the mat, and option to move around, option to bring our hands and our arms onto our forearms in front of us, and option to go straight into a gentle twist. If our body is ready and craving it, that's what we do. Option to gently twist, lifting our foot, drawing the heel into our glute, finding stability and length, lifting our torsos tall, gazing over the shoulder, and slowly starting to work into the quadricep of the lower leg. Or any variation of our lower legs, stretching them out, as our body is craving. Not collapsing, not rounding. Finding length and strength in each pose. Three more breaths. And we'll release, pressing ourselves back to center, lifting our back knee, crescent lunge, lifting our arms off the earth. Exhaling, bringing our arms parallel to the floor, rotating over the lunge, leg gazing back over the extended arm. And then we can come into a reverse warrior here. Reaching our arm over our faces, our ear, breathing into the side body and lower back. Beautiful. Windmilling our hands back to the earth. We walk ourselves around, forward fold, hanging our heads heavy. Resetting here. <sighs> Beautiful. Elongating the torso, parallel to the floor, and we'll heel toe our feet in, in order to come to seated. Bringing ourselves all the way down into either easy seated or fire locks. Grabbing a sip of water on the way. Beautiful. Let's do right leg on top or in front to start. Good. Inhaling, reaching the arms up over our shoulders. Big reach. Finding length in the side body. Beautiful. And we'll rotate to start, coming over to the right side. One hand comes behind, one in front. We're up on the fingertips, finding length and gazing over our right shoulder. Deep breaths in, bringing our awareness and our breath to our upper back, shoulder, and neck. Beautiful. 
One more big breath. And on the next inhale, we'll reach our arms up, coming back to center. Easing up, and we hinge forward, bringing our hands to the earth or to a block. Noticing what's happening in the thigh, in the hip. Keeping length, and we'll slowly melt towards the earth. Exhaling any energy that we don't need to hang on to. Any energy that isn't serving us, perhaps emotions that are connected. Let's let it go. Let's be aware of what's happening in our bodies and minds. Using our breath to make changes, albeit subtle. Small changes over time. Those are the ones that lock in and take hold. And on the next inhale, we'll press ourselves up using our hands. We'll come out of this pose, coming into Dandasana, extending our legs long on the mat, giving them a little wiggle. And then we'll cross the right under, the left over or in front. Good. Inhale, reaching the arms all the way up. Exhale into our twist, bring one hand in front, one hand behind, pressing the fingertips into the earth. And once again, finding length in the spine and gazing over the shoulder. Big deep breaths in to nourish all the muscles in the back and the shoulder and the neck. Three more breaths. And on the next inhale, we'll reach our arms all the way up, back to center. Exhale, we hinge forward, bring our hands to the earth, finding length, lifting our chests high. And with each exhalation, we can melt towards the earth, checking in with the back of the leg, the hip, the glute. What sensations do we have? What's our body telling us? And what can we let go of? Noticing the micro gains and the transition of sensations and celebrating those. Being grateful for what our body allows us to do and taking this time today here on the mat to nourish our bodies, to slow down the pace, to stretch out the muscles, to give ourselves the recovery time we need. On the next inhale, we'll press ourselves back up. And we'll extend our legs back out in front. Dandasana, staff pose, giving them a little wiggle. Perhaps we center ourselves. And keeping our toes pointed forward and up. We're going to lift our arms all the way up over our shoulders. And we're going to exhale, rotating, bringing both arms to one side, reaching back, gazing back. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale, opposite side, reaching back, gazing back. 
Hinging forward, inhaling up. Keeping those toes pointed to the sky. Feet are together. Moving with our breath. Noticing any energy running from the shoulder down through the lower back, into the legs. Moving gently. We're here to nourish and soothe our body, to release energy and tension, to create space so that the energy can run fluidly. Two more on each side. Big reach. One more on each side. Next time we inhale, reaching all the way up. We exhale, hinging forward, holding our arms parallel to the floor. Toes are pointed up. Option to pulse, reaching our hands beyond our feet, or option to bring the hands to our legs or the earth. Keeping our head tucked in, chin to chest. Again, noticing all the yummy sensations in the back body from the neck down the spine, into the lower back, the glutes, down the back of the legs, all the way through the feet. <laughs> Yummy. Coming to stillness, releasing the toes, bringing our hands to our legs, deep breaths in. Filling the lungs, filling the upper back, noticing the expansion across the upper back. And we'll slowly stack the vertebrae one at a time, shoulders and head. Bringing our legs into 90 degrees, we'll slowly lower ourselves down into Shavasana. Slowly rounding the spine, making contact with the earth below. Allowing the lower back to slowly adjust. We can elongate the legs along the mat. Taking a few breaths here. Noticing the energy and the mood of the body and how it may have changed from the beginning of our practice today. And we'll hug our right knee into our chest, bringing our left hand to the outside of the right knee, extending our right arm, and we'll gently rotate. Right knee comes over Cross the body, making contact with the foot on the earth, possibility to bring the block underneath our right knee. And we can gaze up or over to the right, whatever feels good. Again, using our breath as a guide to not push too far too fast, allowing our body to settle into the pose. And again, bringing our awareness to any sensations that we may be feeling throughout the body. Honoring the state of our body, not forcing it beyond its capability or beyond its comfort level. Noticing any releases in tension, micro gains in flexibility, and that calm inner strength 
our peace of mind, our inner balance. Beautiful, deep breaths in. And on the exhale, we come back to center. Hugging the right knee in. Moving the ankle, the foot around, making little circles. Good, some micro movements here. And we'll release the right leg to the floor. And we'll draw the left leg in, bringing our right hand to the outer edge of the left knee, extending our left arm. And we slowly rotate, shifting the left leg across the body. The left foot can make contact on the earth. We settle into the pose, using our blocks for support on our knee if this is too intense on the outer edge of the leg or lower back. Bringing our awareness to any areas of discomfort. Noticing how the discomfort changes with our attention on it. Calm, steady rhythm of breath. Drawing it through the chest, into the left side of the body. Two more big breaths. We take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, we rotate back to center, hugging our left knee into our chest. Bringing our shoulder blades back to the earth. Wiggling our foot around, pointing, flexing, rolling, ah, micro movements. Great. And we release our left leg to the earth, coming into our final resting pose of Shavasana or fetal, whatever feels best for us at this point. Taking a few deep breaths in through the nose and sighing it out through the mouth. <sighs> Noticing what contact our body makes on the earth below. And the softening of our faces, our shoulders and our chest. Taking a moment to reflect on any intention we may have set at the beginning of our practice. Bringing gratitude to our minds and our hearts. And reflecting on something somebody may have done or said that put a smile on our faces this week made us feel loved, happy, supported. Remembering that it's the small things that make the big difference. And that if we can bring a smile to the face of others, share our light, our love and compassion, that, that can have a massive impact where we don't even know. So setting an intention for compassion, love and kindness to flow through us to others. Taking the time we need to imprint the practice on our bodies and minds. When we're ready, 
You can make some small micro movements, bringing awareness back to the body, the physical sensations. We can roll up gently, bring our, our awareness back to the space around us, to our community, and this beautiful day. With smiles on our faces, we give thanks for the opportunity to practice, for the determination to come to the mat, for the support of this community, and for the strength and resilience of our bodies that get us through challenging times, knowing and trusting that we will give it the recovery time it needs. Well done for taking this time for yourself. I wish you an amazing continuation of your day. Namaste.